ពេលវិទ្យុប្រិមិតទុតទស្សនិកជនទីគ្រប់នឹងគិតវិត្រីសំស្ពាកគំសាជាថ្មីមកកាន់កម្មវិធីវេទិកានរណមធុរកិច្
ราเพียงจำบัดในโลกในยุคในไม่ใช่มาโดนไม่ตาหาในขนมสตูดิโอในสถานีตุตัวอาเซียในเบงดองโดยเฉพาะสมตามการศึกษาโดยต่อเติมบริบสุลงยุบบัญชีระบบนิคมสมอันยาดอิโลนิยุมิตาลีบรอปอมปีจีเวียประวัติในการศึกษาหนึ่งจีเวียประวัติต่อครูนบอลลงยุจุนดอลตุตุสนิคจนฟัง I'm a German filmmaker I was born in in Hamburg then then moved to Berlin which is nowadays the the capital of uh, Germany right uh, went to school there uh, studied uh, German language uh, business and musical science Which then had, uh, for sure, not so much to do with what I'm doing now, but it uh, made me become a journalist. I started to write already when I was in school, uh, so this is also how I financed my mm. studies. Became a writer, uh, started to uh, write also for TV stations, documentary film productions. Founded my first company when I was uh, 22. Right. Uh, And worked in Germany uh, until uh, the year 1997. Yes. In 1997, I actually uh, started to work also abroad in other parts of Europe. Mm. Uh, then already with the TV production. Bah. In 2000, uh, my work took me to Thailand. I visited Cambodia for the first time as a tourist. Okay. Uh, fell in love with the country, and started to work here. The Meta House mission, as I told you, is to connect people. That's the first mission. Right. To connect them and to foster kind of a creative exchange uh -huh. where people can learn from each other. Right. Um, the next mission is to actually improve the quality of media and art produced here in Cambodia. Okay. I feel that two fields, arts, Um, contemporary arts mm -hmm. and also contemporary media is still a little bit underdeveloped in terms of the standard. You can see that because you have access here to many TV stations, Cambodian TV for example is mostly still operating on a different standard let's uh -huh. say than foreign stations from Europe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have um, the human resource here. You yeah. have so many young or middle-aged or even older right. skilled people who really want to do something. Mm -hmm. You have the equipment in the meantime and um, you just need to understand sometimes how to work with the equipment, right. how, to can how you can improve. So MetaHouse is a place where people also can learn Right. What to do within their jobs in the fields of arts and media. Okay. You know? Um, we are actually receiving support from uh, what is actually receiving support from what is called the, the Goethe Institute. Right. Uh, the Goethe Institute is the German cultural foundation. Mm -hmm. It's a governmental foundation. It's like the, the French cultural center uh, for France. Or the British Council for the UK. Yep. So the Goethe Institute and the German government are supporting us. They are not paying for running costs, uh, but uh, they are helping us to establish different projects. One of the projects that I particularly like is a film school, where we actually are training uh, young Cambodian right. filmmakers and media students to produce documentaries. So. As a filmmaker and a producer, I have something to share with the youth or with the younger mm -hmm. colleagues. Mm -hmm. And as documentaries um, are still not really produced in high numbers here in Cambodia, and Meta House is also a place where we're screening films. So most of the films that we are screening about Cambodia right. are actually made by non-Cambodians, by okay. foreigners. Right. So we try. To encourage Cambodians mm -hmm. to make films about their own country, to actually maybe tell us a little bit more right. than what a foreigner 
could possibly tell because you know a foreigner is a foreigner like me I'm staying a guest in this country beautiful country right but Cambodians I think for sure they have uh, insights about their own culture and this is something that I want them to share with the audience at Meta House I think people who work with us on a daily basis um, they need to be creative um, they should speak English yep. as my Khmer even after a few <laughs> years in Cambodia is, is, is not that good that I communicate can communicate on a daily basis in Khmer so I need actually people who, who also have the ability to speak English with me right. and the few other foreigners that are working with us in the meantime our team consists of uh, three foreigners and over 20 Cambodians. So we try to work with as many Cambodians as possible because that's also kind of the mission. I mean, you, you cannot really say we, we are here to empower local people to express themselves and then you're just working with foreigners who are managed it for them. Mm -hmm. What we want is also, I mean, on the management level, empower young Cambodians to work with us. Right. So this is why we're having a very young, very committed team mm -hmm. of um, English-speaking Cambodians who are creative, who are outspoken, who are empowered enough that they can work with us. <laughs> Achievements that we have made so far, we have, um, we have changed the location. Mm -hmm. In the first three and a half years we operated Meta House out of a, a residential building, which as I told you before was uh, an office and for me a place to stay. So in the first three and a half years we had to improvise. Yeah. We had to do, actually we turned a big living room into a gallery, we turned a rooftop into a rooftop cinema. Um, we just worked with what we had. Mm -hmm. um, after three and a half years actually, the, the German government and our partners from the Goethe Institute, they signaled that they would be able to support us if we are planning to uh, to move into a bigger location. Right. At this time also we had already started to operate a language school together with the Goethe Institute. It's a German language school. It ah. uh, this follows the same strategy as the French Cultural Center that right. the German government wants to help Cambodians to learn German and um, we uh, work together mm -hmm. um, language school art center, media center, film production in one house. Right. So after four years you can find us in travel books and, and city magazine, <laughs> in-flight magazines. Mm -hmm. But this is for sure um, this is for sure a result of of the work that we have done in the last four years. So actually lots of journalists um, maybe including CTV now. Right. Um, they have just found out that we are delivering good work and, and then they actually have helped us with the marketing in a way that we don't have to spend uh, money for, I mean, big advertisement campaigns, money right. that we still don't have because okay. this is something that people should understand. Uh, running an arts and media center is not designed Right. for actually earning huge yeah. amounts of money. Yeah. Arts and media centers in, in the Western world, as well as in every other part of the world, they should be uh, sustainable, self-sustainable. Right. They should actually earn the money to cover the running costs, earn the money to invite artists, earn the money to do workshops, and, and maybe they earn also the money for the staff. But 
you don't really generate a huge amount of money. So whatever we do here is in this field as for Meta House as an art and media center is is kind of voluntary work. Right. And the reward that, that I'm getting as a founder, because you, you need to ask yourself, why am I doing it, <laughs> is that I can use this platform uh, for my own benefits. So here as a journalist, and I'm still a filmmaker, so I'm still producing films, I have the, the unique possibility okay. to meet people, to network with people, so I can actually develop my own projects right. also on the grounds of Meta House, and that's the benefit for me. Meta House, as I explained earlier, was always kind of a, a grassroots project where we would only spend what we earned. Right? So in the beginning, in the first months, the marketing strategy was word of mouth. The marketing strategy was sending out emails. The marketing strategy was uh, photocopying mm. uh, in black and white uh, A4 papers and, and, and sticking it in, in shops. Yep. We just tried to do everything to, to make people understand that we were there, right. at least. Um, in the meantime, we are printing a program which uh, uh, is circulated with 8,000 copies. <laughs> So we're printing a monthly program in English and Khmer, right. which is distributed uh, through our media partner Asia Life and also by hand to, to around uh -huh. 200 locations in Phnom Penh. Mm -hmm. We are also we're having a bigger email list server in the meantime where people can actually uh, let us know that they're interested to receive emails mm -hmm. and then they're receiving information on a, on a weekly basis. <laughs> In media production, at some point, you need a budget. Right. You can't do magic. Mm -hmm. um, that means you have to be able to hire equipment, which is expensive and sometimes a little bit difficult in Cambodia. Right. Or you need to own it. So that means we need to generate, actually, um, money to be able to um, build our own production facility, yeah. to be able to, to buy more computers, because we want to, we want to grow mm -hmm. and we want to um, help more people right. develop their ideas. Right. Uh, might, might those people be visual artists, painters, performance artists, media artists, documentary filmmakers, we want to access um, a larger community, so we need to we need to work on that. Yeah, in the moment um, we have a limited capacity. Right. Yeah, also for workshops, mm -hmm. um, for training sessions, we want to accommodate more people. So right. we need to work harder to achieve that. No, it was a pleasure to talk to you. Yep. Um, talking to you also um, proves to me that Thank you. there is a young generation <laughs> in, in Cambodia who is, who is eager to learn, who is uh, empowered to talk, who is, is fluent in English and for sure in Khmer. <laughs> um, it, because of that young generation, I have at some point established Meta House because I feel that this country has a lot of potential, right. really. I believe that. I believe that Cambodia has a lot of potential. I like the people. I wouldn't want to work in, work in any of the other Southeast Asian countries. I'm happy to work here in Cambodia. still like to travel in other countries. But the workplace, the home base, so to say, is here in Cambodia. And that relates also to the people. So, and in return, I'm just
giving that to the audience of CTV, we are more than happy to accommodate Cambodians at Meta House. Yeah. So whoever feels that he or she should learn something about art in Cambodia and art from abroad, Man. media in Cambodia or media from abroad, please visit us. And um, obviously you will also find me there because I'm there every day. And uh, I hope uh, that um, we see this whole seen mm -hmm. growing and developing right um and 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 reaching a certain standard where cambodian art is is valued overseas where artists here also can make a decent living right. like artists in other countries can already mm -hmm. and the same for the filmmakers we just want that people here can pursue their dreams and also live by it you right know? And that's the message that I have. Mm. Thank you so much, Mr. Nico. Thank you so much for the interview. Premier to test Nikon Jiti Group Nang Jiti Mitrai. Catch some peer reviewing Kim Bart Nang Lok Nico, Nepinika Ban, Chin Jomara Timmy Chop, A Kim Bark Song, Clam Nokun, Ralka Tam Dan, Baha Lok Net, Tang Pidam, Hot a Chop Committee from Day. I Chichong Machop, Kim Bark Song Group, Chun Po, I Alok Net, the two Bantai, Sakai Sok, and Supam Kolkop, Kromkosa. Can I Penikim Bart and Kromkangi and Ah, some Akun, some Shibri.